stop existing start living if i were to ask you are you living or are you existing i can bet almost all of you are going to say we are living why not maybe you've got good careers or you're studying well or you're earning well with families friends holidays mall you're having a blast that is great but i believe you can truly answer this question whether you're living or whether you're existing or whether you've lived or whether you've existed you can truly answer this question in your final days on this earth because it's interesting in the final analysis it's interesting to see what people have to say people who who led supposedly great lives what do they normally say in their final days so there was this nurse there is still this nurse in australia her name is ronny ware have you heard of her name ronny ware you have right this lady used to provide care and counsel to scores of patients in their final days and she would chat with them and ask them how was life did you really enjoy life were you living or were you just existing do you have any regrets and almost there were there were about five common themes that came out from the response what do you think was the biggest regret that they had anyone not trying something not trying something good what else not spending time with family yeah that was one of the things actually the biggest regret was and i like to read it out because she's written in and it's worth reading this book it's called the top five regrets of the dying and the number one regret is i wish i had the courage to live a life true to myself not the life others expected of me you know when people look back and they see there are so many dreams unfulfilled because they weren't really living the way they wanted to live their life they were trying to make someone else happy that was the number one regret the second regret and actually this was the number one regret among men guess what it was i wish i hadn't worked so hard <laughs> this was the biggest regret among men because they lost out on their children growing up they lost out seeing their parents getting old helping them out they were on the treadmill of work of money of success in terms of promotion or whatever and then when they die they realize oh my god look what i missed out i wish i hadn't worked so hard the third regret that came up was i wish i had the courage to express my feelings a lot of people suppress their feelings they want to say it but they don't say it because they want to make peace and in the process that resentment inside creates disease and anxiety and all kinds of problems say it say it don't hold it within yourself that's the third regret that people have The fourth was I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. Everyone misses their friends during their dying days. We all had wonderful childhood. We all had wonderful friends. But then when we start working, we lose touch. But do you know when we really want to be with back with them and we live those days in your final day? and the fifth regret i wish that i had let myself be happy people don't realize that happiness is a choice you can choose to be happy but we do not we pretend to be happy but deep inside we are insecure we have a problems we have a resentment make that choice to be happy So 
we can learn from this wisdom we can benefit from this wisdom because i guess we have a lot of years ahead of us probably not me i'm probably the oldest in this room but let's reflect on this theme with this wisdom for these five great regrets that people in general in general feel and then reflect and think about this are we living or are we existing are we working too hard do we have time for friends family are we really expressing ourselves are we living the life we truly want to live think about things and then living may have a different meaning altogether on that note i would like to welcome on stage the mc the toast master of the day this person is a consummate toast master and i can truly say he is living because in my definition you are living when you live for others and not just for yourself he was a person who was a member of our club many years ago and then he had taken a sabbatical he was traveling to another city he came back to our club about 6 months ago and we were in the process of getting to the next level of the club and one of the things we wanted to do was to refurbish our website and today i don't know how many of you have seen our website it's incredible when you become a member you realize what a valuable source that is whether you want to pick a slot to speak or you want to send a mail to someone you want to know what's happening in the club it's an amazing place to be in and if there's one person who was instrumental in making that website what it is it's the next speaker ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for prakash kamankar